Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> See what happens when I'm doing things in a hurry, and you'll understand why I'm in a hurry in a minute, because I'll explain why I'm going crazy running back and forth this morning. Good morning, everyone. It's always great to see you here at Coffee and Headlines. Our daily get together. Oh, see, I'm running. I'm out of breath. Our daily get together here on Facebook live every morning at 1030 where we get together to talk about the latest headlines and stories that are going on around the world, near and far, and how they relate to our lives here in Puerto Vallarta as an English-speaking community. We do this every day out of love, out of support, out of community more than anything else, because uh, what we look for in doing this project is to connect, to connect with one another, to connect with the destination, to make new friends, and to feel like we belong to this community. So it's always great to see you. It's always great to see new faces. If you're new, my name is Paco, and we'd love to know that you are new. If you write the word new in your comments, we will have the opportunity to welcome you. Uh, also, if you have any specific comment <clears throat> that you want us to address or to discuss during the broadcast or subsequently, uh, please write the letter Q before your questions or comments uh, for us to address. Otherwise, just have a good time talking to people, getting questions answered from everyone and anyone. It's always great to see familiar faces, and it's always great to see new folks. Uh, I see people from all over. Uh, we won't do any kind of roll call today. We're just going to... Um, dash into the program and although it does feel like I'm writing it as we speak <laughs> that is so funny um let's take a quick look uh oh what a great description good morning from our home which is in a town that sits on a sandbar in the middle of the Mississippi River isn't that lovely thank you very much for that Dan I'm really uh, it makes it sound like a place I would want to visit uh, thank you very much for sharing such a beautiful description of the place where you're watching from. Um, uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, this is great, Bob. We have some follow-up information for you. I'm so glad you got to watch the Taco Chronicles episode and learn more about, um, about Lady Tacos de Canasta. Susan asks, how was San Sebastian? Actually, Susan, I don't go to San Sebastian until Monday afternoon. I will be gone Monday afternoon to Wednesday afternoon. Um, I'm going to be gone for three days. I haven't been gone for three days in a while, but this is going to, um, to uh, happen. Yay, small vacation. Linda asks, I mentioned yesterday that I'm a musician. Any chance of viewing a quick snippet? As a matter of fact, yes, Linda, because... Um, because the second pre-recorded segment that I'll do, put together for Coffee and Headlines while I'm in San Sebastian will be all about music and um, 
you know, I'm a musician, so I have to do something about it. So yes, this will happen and you'll get a chance to see it on Wednesday. Wednesday will be my second pre-recorded um, um, segment. Gay Guide Vallarta says you are running late. I say, don't worry. Um, and I will explain to the rest of the audience what that means in a second. Um, what I say back to Gay Guide, Gallar Vall Vall Gay Guide Vallarta is that we are on schedule. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Let me just dive into the news and we'll take it from there. Let us welcome more tourism. There is a demand are crying local hotel owners um, to our governor, Enrique Alfaro. Apparently, local hotel owners have been in touch with the health committee in, uh, for the state, hoping to increase the capacity uh, or the percentage of guests that any hotel can um can receive to 50% at least during the weekends. Uh, this is now being um, discussed by, um, by people in the, in the higher government of the state. And maybe, just maybe, we will get some updated news this coming, well, tomorrow, which is the day in which our governor gives us a weekly update on how the numbers are and how they relate to um, our ability to open more or less. Um, this is also important news. Um, as you recall, um, Luis Alonso N., the former employee at uh, City Hall, who was convicted as, uh, for, uh, sex, as a sex offender and for corruption of minors, the charge for corruption of minors was dismissed by a judge that was then questioned for that decision. Uh, the judge argued, well, if the child didn't feel pleasure, then it's not corruption. Uh, which was absolutely ridiculous. The judge was dismissed, and in a hearing yesterday, this man was again charged for minor corruption, or corruption of minors, rather. So it is good to know that at least uh, people are, are watching this closely, and hopefully he will receive everything that he deserves. Turtle season is on in Puerto Vallarta. It started less than a couple of weeks ago. I was not aware of the specific date, but it is nice to see that this is the time of year in which you can go to places like Casa Magna Marriott, Fiesta Americana, Presidente Intercontinental, Westing Resorts, Dreams, Velas Vallarta. These are just a few of the places where you can be part of the turtle release programs that these large hotels and other places have put forth. What this means is that turtles every year come to our coast this time of year, lay eggs, and then the hatchlings need to go back to sea um, safe from poachers and predators and whatnot. So if you haven't had this experience, I strongly recommend it. It is absolutely wonderful. Uh, let's see. Ah, also, it, this is important. As I was saying before, I'm going to be gone on vacation. Um, but because I don't want to miss you too much and I don't want you to miss me too much. Um, actually, I confessed to a friend the other day. It's like, I don't want to not do something while I'm on vacation because I don't want people to forget about me. And, um, and there you go. I said it, outside voice. What can I say? But long story short, while I'm gone, I will be broadcasting on Monday morning, as usual, and I'm going to be going away. And then Tuesday, you're going to enjoy a wonderful pre-recorded segment that includes a walking tour of Isla Rio Cuale, as I promised. And I went all the way to the very end, and I looked at some of the construction that is going on. And you're going to get to enjoy this <clears throat> along with other itty bitties and then the following day on wednesday you're going to enjoy a pre-recorded show that has everything to do with music including music that i make or have made rather um yesterday somebody was asking how do you find out about these things well again the um, the the pre-recorded edition for tuesday is already up on the website and i'm going to leave you a link so that you know where to find it. And also, if you happen to scroll on to the, the Facebook page, you will notice that, let me see, where is it? Near the top of it, it says upcoming live videos. And of course, it's showing the one we're enjoying today. 
and it's also already showing the one that I've already uploaded for Tuesday. Um, and in addition to that, I have pinned a message to the top of, uh, of, the, of the wall so that you can see information about the pre-recorded shows so that you don't miss a bit of coffee and headlines. Let me take a quick look at your comments and questions. I want to make sure that I cover everything I can. Do I ever recall a forest fire near PV? I have seen burning, but not forest fires per se. That's a good question. I know that people uh, routinely burn forests as part of the um, fertility process, making, making earth fertile. Uh, but I don't recall ever seeing a forest fire near PV. I don't know that we've ever had them. I doubt that we would have them this time of year because it rains so much. But um, but um, I hope I answered your question, Joe. Um, I, I don't think it happens, and certainly not like it happens in, in California, which is absolutely devastating. Uh, let me take a quick look. You are never late, Claude. You are always present. So there. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, a recommendation of a new show. Thank you very much. A new show called A Place to Call Home. I will definitely check it out, Mary. Thank you very much. Is there a way to be for, for advice about when and where turtles will be released? That's a great question, Tony. All the hotels that I mentioned, and you'll be able to see the names of the hotels in the show notes, you can call their concierge, and their concierge will provide information to that effect. Um, can you tell us a little bit, if you can, about the woman who dresses like a nurse but collects money for poverty folks? I, I'm afraid I'm not familiar with this person. Um, if you give me a little bit more information, Claude, I'll be happy to dive into that if, if there is something to be said. Um, please uh, keep me posted. Uh, -bum 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 -bum, more questions. Okay, so I'm caught up with your questions. Let me very quickly move on to the leisurely stuff. And the oh, my friend Jorge from Tepic, Jorgito, te quiero y te extraño mucho. Uh, this is my dear, dear baby brother, friend, artisan, pal, partner in crime. I wish, I wish you would come to visit. Ven a visitarnos pronto, Jorgito. And here are the leisurely notes and the weather. Twenty-seven degrees feels like thirty-one. It's eighty degrees Fahrenheit right now. There is a fourteen percent chance of rain, and humidity is at eighty-eight percent. And um, this is all great news. The weather forecast for today is. Um, we're going to have rain until morning, although I doubt that because it looks like it's not raining outside, which is good, and I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, rain starts again in the evening, and then tomorrow we're going to have rain, or I suppose tomorrow evening we'll have rain until morning, starting again in the evening. And then Monday we can expect again rain from the previous night, starting again in the evening. That said, there are other... <clears throat> weather news that I can share. I picked this up from the National Center for Hurricane Warning. There are apparently two, um, two different things going on. Oh, let me put on the, hold on. Why is my, oh, that's why. Never mind. Switching to my headlines. There is, there are two weather chingaderas. <laughs> There are two weather chingaderas forming in the Pacific Ocean that may become um, a storm or a tropical storm or hopefully not a hurricane. Um, this would be in four days. I picked this up yesterday, so we get, um, we get rid of one day here. So the, these two formations might become tropical storms and then might become hurricanes. We track them on the live uh, map thanks to Windy. Isn't that pretty? So one of those is right there and the other one is over here. You um, 
might think this is going to get ugly, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Right now, these are small formation that may get a little uglier. They may not. I will keep you posted. The good thing is that this is not going to happen for three or four days. Uh, moving right along, yesterday, we talked about Lady Tacos de Canasta and how she was busted in Mexico City in the Zocalo, no less, for selling tacos out and about. All her tacos were thrown on the ground by five abusive policemen. A lot of people came to her defense. And we talked about this yesterday. Then we um, added some more information about her. She is a mushe, uh, which in the Zapotec culture, uh, she is born a man, but dresses as a woman and acts like a woman. And this is totally accepted in this culture. She was featured in the Taco Chronicles on Netflix. And today we follow up the story um, based on some headlines that I read yesterday, I think, and some statements made by Claudia Scheinbaum, who is the mayor of Mexico City, um, it is quite possible that what was going on is that she was trying to sell her tacos in a place where ambulant vendors are not allowed. Um, nonetheless, it was not nice the way she was treated by the policeman. So her money for the tacos was reimbursed. And the good news is that she, the city has granted her now a permanent place where she can do her business. So this is a very happy ending for Lady Tacos de Canasta. I am so excited about this. I see that at least one of you went to watch the episode on Netflix. And if you want to be friends with Lady Tacos de Canasta, I am going to share her Facebook page with you so that you can take a look at it. You can follow what she is doing and you can uh, hopefully meet her someday. I would love to meet Lady Tacos de Canasta. If I went to Mexico City, I would love to find out where she's selling because she is quite a character. Um, we also find out that um, Riviera Nayarit is promoting a few small, lesser known um, beaches in Rincon, near Rincón de Guayabitos. We know Rincón de Guayabitos to be north of Puerto Vallarta, and I'll show you where in a map. Um, just south of Rincón de Guayabitos, there's a small little town called Los, Ala Los Ayala, and this article talks about these small uh, beaches called Playa Frideritas, Playa Frideras and Playa del Toro, which can be reached from, um, from this place, from Los Ayala. And these look like really beautiful beaches. Now, for you to get a sense as to where this is, I decided I would whip out my handy Google map. So here's Puerto Vallarta. And if we go up, there's Punta de Mita, there's Higuera Blanca, there's Sayulita, there's San Pancho. And there's Lo de Marcos, and we keep going up, and there is Rincón de Guayabitos. So Rincón de Guayabitos is less than an hour and a half away from where we are. And just as an FYI, just north of Rincón de Guayabitos is right here. It's not even showing up on the map. Where is it? Uh, Okay, so here's Rincón de Guayabitos, and here's La Peñita del Jartemba. La Peñita has an amazing market on Thursdays that everybody should get to see at some point. That's just a quick FYI. Anyhow, here's Rincón de Guayabitos. There is Isla Coral right across from the town, which is another beautiful beach to enjoy. And just south of Rincón de Guayabitos is this tiny, tiny little town called Los Ayala. And in the vicinity of this town, I would imagine right around here, is where these remote beaches are. So if you ever want to go for a good day trip or get away, driving up there is a lot of fun. And as long as I have the map out, I want to remind you of something that happened just a few days ago. Just a few days ago, our good friends from Gay Guide Vallarta said, Joey and Isaac said, we're going to do the hike to Las Animas because we want to do a video about this for our viewers. And I selfishly said, oh, I'm going to tag along. And everybody seemed to think that was a good idea. And I asked you, do you want to know more about Las Animas, the beach that you can get to by boat? Um, and, um, and you said you were interested in this. And then I thought to myself, well, there might be some people that want to hike to Las Animas, but there might be some people that just don't hike anymore. So what we decided we would do is Joey and Isaac are taking off 
to hike to Las Animas this morning while I am going to go on the boat. So we will have two separate videos, two separate kinds of experiences. If you want to know more about hiking to Las Animas from Boca de Tomatlan later on, you can do that through their video. If you want to know more about getting there by boat, you can do that through my video. And that way we will cover more segments. So back to the map, just so you know where this is in case you have never been. There is good Puerto Vallarta, there's Conchas Chinas, there's Misma Loya, there's Boca de Tomatlan, and there's Colomitos Beach. So here's where the hike starts in Boca de Tomatlan, and the hike goes from here all the way to Las Animas. And that's where I'm going to spend the day doing video for you guys and taking photos and whatnot so that you can learn more about this awesome remote beach that you can only get to either if you hike from Boca or if you take a boat. You can take a boat from Boca de Tomatlan to Las Animas, but since I don't have a car anymore, I'm going to be lazy and I'm taking the boat from Playa Los Muertos, from the Los Muertos Pier, all the way to Boca de Tomatlan, and I will be putting together a little video for you guys to enjoy in a few days. And this is why I'm running, running a little faster than usual because I want to dash over to Los Muertos Pier right after I'm done with the broadcast so that I won't miss the 1145 water taxi. The last news item that I have for you today is a sweet little video that I found online. Uh, President, Mexico President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador has caught the attention of uh, the public from the very beginning because he refuses to use a presidential plane or take special arrangements when he travels from one place to another. Apparently, he found himself in the city of Aguascalientes and at a traffic light, somebody recognized him and said hello to him and he lowered his windshield uh, and he just said hello back. And uh, I, the video is here and there's something heartwarming to know that somebody as important as the president of Mexico can be so sp spontaneously easy to talk to. And I thought that was a sweet moment. Let me take a look at your last minute questions. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I happen to know the water temperature in the bay or on the beach rather? I have no idea, but I will let you know if it was comfortable or not when I come back. Let's see, let's see. Another show recommendation, The Man in the High Castle. Thank you very much. Oh, I've heard about this one. I've heard about this one. I've, this is supposed to be really awesome. Thank you very much for that recommendation. Um, let's see. Let's see. The water is warm. Oh, thank God, because I'm dying to behave like a tourist for a few hours and go swimming. Uh, Chakala not showing. Lindy Lang. Uh, I'm sure Chakala is still there. Nobody has moved it, Lindy. Um, it didn't show in the map because I didn't zoom close enough to Chacala, but I am very, very sure that it is still there. Any progress report on the highway to Guadalajara, asks Doug Baldridge. I haven't seen any headlines in the last couple of weeks, but if I do, you will be the first to know. How long is the boat ride from Los Muertos? I don't think it'll take more than 40 minutes. Um, and Claude chimes in, 30 to 45 minutes. There you go. That sounds accurate. Um, uh, -bam 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 -bam. Are you going to wear a Speedo today? Not today and not ever, Joe. I don't look good on a Speedo. I actually don't feel good on a Speedo. Holly asks, have, have I watched the marvelous Mrs. Maisel yet? No, I haven't, but this is another show that I've heard raving information about then I understand that it is absolutely wonderful. And this, my friends, brings us to the end of Coffee and Headlines, just a little bit under half an hour. Again, not because I don't want to spend time with you, but because today I need to Uber myself to the pier so that I can continue to nurture our community with wonderful video and things to do. If you've never been to Las Animas Beach for the day, it is, it is a great trip. The water is very swimmable. Uh, the density of tourists is reduced, so it is a comfortable beach. So hopefully 
I will let you know how it looks. Uh, a tanga. Well, can I just say that I'm bringing some, well, my friend Paul is coming with. And whenever Paul and I travel together, uh, wigs and sunglasses and all kinds of things are just magically end up in our backpacks. So <laughs> hopefully uh, something interesting will happen. But right now, it's time to get going. In the meantime, I hope today's slightly shorter Coffee and Headlines was uh, useful, helpful, inspiring to you. And as always, I wish you a great day. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay kind, stay in touch. And um, I will see you tomorrow. If you are new to these broadcasts, again, tomorrow is Sunday Fun Day. No news. Nothing is sacred. No one is safe. So hopefully tomorrow we will laugh together. And if not tomorrow, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. 